Okay, so we're going to cut up some of the vegetables. We're making um, a stir fry and it's sort of uh, Chinese flavor and Asian flavor. So you can use whatever, you know, vegetables, of course, that you like. I think broccoli is pretty traditional. And um, uh, today I'm going to use broccoli. And I use these uh, snap peas, or yes, yeah, snap, or snow, I forget. But, and I just like to cut off the ends of these. I, and there's sort of the stringiness, if you can see what I'm doing. I just go down halfway and then I just let the, um, sort of that string that attaches these two can be a little bit tough, but you could really leave it on. But again, all I'm doing is doing this and I, when you cook it, you really, you really don't have to do that because, you know, in cooking it gets a little softer. But um, I put in my kids' lunch, and it's just easier to eat, I feel like, with the um, with that little string gone. Um, so that's all I do for that. And then, of course, we have broccoli. I have two heads here. I'm going to actually just take a little bit out. And this is the nice thing. You can cut all your veggies, especially if you're working. During the week, it's hard to get or carting your kids all around town. Um, get dinner ready, and this is the perfect meal because it, once you have all the prep done, it cooks in about maybe 10 minutes, maybe not even. So um, this is, you can do all this in the beginning of the week or in the morning before you leave for work. And so I had two things of broccoli. I'm not going to use all two because it's too much, but I am um, going to cut them all up and then I'll put some away or have some for before dinner. They can nosh on it. So uh, I think... Um, it's a good time to just get all your cutting done if if you can. So then we have um, let me clean this off and the carrots. I should I usually have a little garbage bowl, but that's fine. Um, I have to well actually let's do the red pepper first. So I'm doing red pepper, and again the nice thing about this is it's whatever veggies you have. I uh, last time I made it I didn't put red pepper. I love red pepper, but my husband doesn't love it that much, but, um, you know, he can pick around it. It's fine. So the kids like it. It's sweet. Um, and so I'm going to cut these again. So because it's a stir fry, you don't, you want everything, all the pieces of each of the things as you add them to be sort of similar so they can cook at the same rate. And so these two, I guess that looks good. Again, I'm just cutting it on like a slant or a bias, I guess people call it. Um, just because I think it looks nice. You can cut it however you want. Obviously, I don't think it's affecting the flavor of it. And then we'll have that one. And one last one. Again, once I cut all the veggies, sometimes I think, oh, this is too much of this or too much of that. And uh, so I... Um, I uh, just put them separate. And then the next thing I have to do is I'm just getting a little bit, the peel is usually the most nutritious part of fruits and vegetables, so you don't wanna take too much off, but um, there is some, you want it to be not too tough or anything. So I just peeled the carrot a little bit. I'll put this over here. And, um, Oh, and I forgot that I have also brown rice. I started cooking that like half an hour ago. Actually, it's a brown rice and barley mixed together. But um, whatever, you could do it on like, um, do the stir fry alone, first of all, or with white rice or any other long, long grain rice, the um, wild rice, whatever kind you like, or like the soba noodles or rice noodles, any type of noodle, spaghetti. Again, I'm going to cut this sort of on a bias. Um, it just looks pretty for no other reason really. And then so actually I think I'm going to do this with the carrots. So carrots can be a little hard. So I'm going to leave. Um, I cut these pieces. These are sort of big pieces and for the stir fry I don't want people to use their knives too much. I mean you can use your knife if you need to obviously. But I like the pieces to be bite sized. So I cut that on a bias, but now I'm just going to make little matchsticks out of them. And that's just cutting them straight down. And obviously if you have to make a ton, that this would take 
quite a bit of time, but I'm just making it for a family of four or five, and um, you know, it's fine. So it doesn't take that long. And so I'm going to cut this all down. And then I'll do the same thing with these. And it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. Mine certainly is not. All right, so I think that's it. That looks pretty. Um, so you can add some corn. If you have some frozen corn, you can throw that in. I'll check if I have some. Peas. Um, anything you really like. Kale. You can throw some uh, leafy greens in. But I think I'm going to have this with the chicken, and that's going to be good. So we'll come back and start the cooking.